sunshine on my shoulders gives me sunburns. Hey, Bluebeast. Hey, Bluebees. Yep, I'm pretty sunburnt tonight. Uh, not on my shoulders, though. Unlike that wonderful John Denver song, I'm not really sunburnt more than my face and my neck and my arms. I'm pretty lobsterish in those places. But as you can see, I've got a fantastic farmer stand going. Um, and I probably won't even now. I usually don't um, because, well, nobody really ever sees me without my shirt except Julie. So what's the point? Um, that's not really what I came here to tell you about. I, I have a funny story to tell you. Uh, as you guys know, a lot of you people have been watching me since 1937, uh, since I started doing these vlogs. As you guys know, I recently took a part-time job for some little extra money at a famous retail store, and I have a funny customer story to tell you. Now, I've heard that people can get fired for this kind of thing, um, so I've, I was kind of hesitant, because this happened like a week ago, and I've been sort of hesitant on whether I should tell the story or not. But I got to thinking, you know, this famous store that I work for, there is a, like a website where employees can go and uh, we can look at our pay stubs and, and things like that. Uh, well, there's also a forum on there where we can talk about the store and talk about things. And uh, one of the most popular topics is uh, funny customer stories or dumb customer stories. So I feel like it's perfectly fine for me to tell this story. Uh, I shouldn't get fired since that type of thing is allowed on the website, right? So, I will very boldly tell you that the name of my store is... Um, so, now that you know, I'll get on with the story. Now, I worked in Lawn and Garden. I'm still going to be working in Lawn and Garden until tomorrow, and that's my last day there, and then I'm going to go to Hardware next week. Um, that's not really neither here nor there, but I was zoning in the Lawn and Garden department last week, uh, last Sunday, I believe, and um, this couple walked up. A zoning, by the way, if you don't know the terminology of... Uh, zoning means... Uh, turning labels so they face outward so people can see what the product is. Anyway, uh, so I was doing that and this couple walked up and they said, hey, um, excuse me, you used to sell something and we can't find it. Uh, can you help us out? And I said, uh, sure, what are you looking for? And they said, well, um, they're kind of long, you know, about yay long, and uh, you use them to hold over fire and you put a marshmallow at one end, you can toast your marshmallow. Do you still sell those things? And I said, um, I have not seen anything like that, but let's go look. So we went over to the, where the growing supplies are and things like that. And, and no, the closest thing we have are bamboo skewers, which are only you know this long. And I'm like, no, I don't see anything like that. And they're like, oh, well, you used to use you used to have something like that. What can we use if uh, what what can we do? And I said, well, why don't you just use a stick? And I got this deer in the headlights look. And they're kind of like, okay, thanks. And they started to walk away, uh, muttering to themselves. And I'm like, it's a cheap alternative, and your marshmallow is going to get just as done. Um, so <laughs> maybe they've never heard of using a stick. I, I don't know. In this day and age, it wouldn't surprise me. People are kind of retarded sometimes. But anyway, that's it. That's all I wanted to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry that I rambled. I, I could have told that story in about 30 seconds, but I, of course I had to make it however long this video is getting. I'm not even sure. and So I'm still babbling and, and keeping this video going longer and longer and longer, which could get to be kind of a funny joke, but I'm not going to let it. So, bye.